If you want more content from Wee Studios, check us out at weepodcast.com. That's W-E-E podcast.com, where you can find our Simpsons podcast, worst episode ever, our commentary series, Sync Points, our Reddit, our Twitter, our Facebook, all that good stuff. And if you want to support the show and what we're doing here, all you got to do is go to amazon.wepodcast.com or click the banners on wepodcast.com. Either way, it's going to take you to Amazon. Or tap, tap them. Tap, tap, tap them. Tap, tap them if, if, if you're using a mobile device, not if you're looking at it through some kind of TV store window. <laughs> right. If you're, if you're looking at it through a TV store window, you're probably some sort of Dickensian urchin, <laughs> and we appreciate you listening, but you can't support the show. Yeah, we're, not on, we're also not on TVs. We're probably, you're, I don't know what you're looking at. It's I don't us. know. It would be kind of weird if we were on TV. Are we being filmed right now and we don't know about it? Is someone recording this? I'm not. Oh, my God. All right, guys. Enjoy the show. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Sixty minutes are on the clock, and straight out of Wii Studios, this is '90s Percentile. My name is Dan. My name is Jack, and we're talking everything '90s, and maybe also everything before and after. Maybe, 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 Jack. Today is Fourth of July. If it, you're in the United States, it's Fourth of July everywhere, but it's especially Fourth <laughs> of July in the United States. Except if you're on the other side of the international dateline, then right. it's fifth, third. Then I don't know. How it I works. don't know how that works. Not fourth. Technically, I am on the other side of the international <laughs> dateline because when this episode's coming out, I will be in Japan. So it's not Fourth of July if it's you're Dan. It's not Fourth of July right now if you're me. But if you're me listening to this <laughs> on Fourth of July, then it is. Fourth of July. Why are we bringing up the American holiday of Independence Day, Dan? I'm bringing and it why, up. Why have you got an English guest? <laughs> because we have an English this guest. This feels so inappropriate now. <laughs> no, well, you know... We're extending an olive branch across the, uh, the Atlantic and um, bringing on a Brit. We're going to introduce... Let's introduce you first, and then we'll explain why we thought to have a British guest. <laughs> yes, so our guest is Lord Matthew Waite. That's right. That's my name. That's right. So, uh... LM, say hi to the people. <laughs> Hello, people. Do yeah. people call you LM? Nobody calls me LM. All right, LM no, it is. Do, do people call you Matty Brits, which is what <laughs> we've been calling, calling you before for the last ten minutes? Uh, no, we figured this was uh, since it's the Fourth of July, we celebrate our independence from uh, the United Kingdom or Britain or whatever it was back then. Uh, this is our. We're reaching out a, a, a hand of peace. An olive branch. We're going to call this the uh, the Brentrance. The, Bre- the, Bre- the Brentrance, yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, Very uh, fitting. I feel like now that we've had you here, we've solved racism and we've solved the, the British-American you know, There is uh, a lot rivalry. of racism against Brits in the United States. And the we've p- solved it, goes, it. It really, we have. You all act like you don't understand anything which we're saying at all, and yet you watch Downton Abbey all the time. <laughs> yes, it makes no the, sense. My day has been nice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, also, oh, we should mention uh, your company... Yep. Uh, which wouldn't be the first time we've mentioned it on the air. No, it would not be. So, uh, uh, Matthew, well, I'll let you say it. You you are the proprietor of a certain website that has been uh, named on this show before. That's right. I think we sponsored the very first episode of 90s. You certainly did. First, first, first three, show. I first believe. Three, yes. yeah. um, I paid for those shows, but no, I've, I've <laughs> snuck in without paying for this episode by That's becoming right. a guest. So definitely go to joq.com, job.com, get your website <laughs> apps. And <laughs> well, there is a tip jar out in front of you, so please yeah. feel free. If, if we're doing a good job, you know, you, you, you pay, you, you pay, you pay but, for it. By the way, you, you only paid for some of it. Dan actually uh, likes to eat a lot of caviar before every recording. Well, so. I need my caviar <laughs> before I get into the booth. Yeah, I, so you, our I know that you, very high. you did say you were going to spend it on some microphones, but I do think maybe I might not have known right up front they were going to be gold-plated microphones yeah, yes. yeah, this is diamond-encrusted Dan. We went with the deluxe model. <laughs> yeah. We figured we got a little money to throw around. Yeah, well, and remember, the plating is gold. On the inside, it's human shit. Yes. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> Which is strangely very conducive for sound. So they make yeah, a lot great. of microphones yeah, no, out the, of human shit. Molecularly, you know, the audio, it's, yeah. uh, it's right down there. to the molecule. <laughs> the audio molecules move right through it. <laughs> Like um, shit through my butthole. <laughs> there is something I've always wanted to ask you about, which was, Uh-oh. So yes. if, you, if you remember the first episode, I was very clear that I was very open to freedom of speech with this. Okay. And that's fine. I think that's fine. <laughs> I still stand by that. We did sponsor those episodes. I was putting Absolutely. my tweets out. But did you have to, on the very first one, have to start talking about if you should tip a prostitute? That was, <laughs> yes. I oh, think that, within yes. minutes, it was basically... You know, do you tip a prostitute sponsored by Jock? It was quite yeah. a shock. I <laughs> actually wanted to bring that up earlier, but I waited until you had sponsored our show and then, and, and then passed. <laughs> now that we have a sponsor, let's talk about <laughs> tipping, tipping prostitutes. I think that's, that's um, clear. Uh, I think, uh, well, so are you, are you saying uh, that you're against tipping prostitutes? Well, well, if we're going to go on this subject now, um, <laughs> I think we have to. You, you did bring it up. It seems like you're dying to talk by about the way, it. Sh- it's uh, fine. You can say way, what you want and I'll sponsor com. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's J O Q. Dot com. Dot com. No, uh, we don't have to talk about tipping prostitutes. Uh, no. qu- a quick yes, a quick yes, no, or maybe. 
Maybe. Depends. All right, there we go. All right, it I, depends. I, I want to talk about something more important. Tip for uh, good service. Something we brought up uh, at the beginning of the show when Dan said... Uh, that 60 minutes are on the clock? No, a little later. Straight out of Wii Studios, this is 90s Percentile. My no. name is Dan. Uh, after that... Uh, where, My name is Jack. No, after that, it was when we you said... We everything 90s. <laughs> where you said his name is Lord Matthew Waite. It yes. is. So I want to know... What, what's going on? You you said your Lord is your name. It's oh, not it's your a mess. title. It's a massive but mess. But you're also sort of a Lord. You're, you're a given, sort of Lord. Your given first name is oh, actually man. Lord. My name should be Matthew. Okay. Right? okay. I was born Matthew, and something horrible happened, and now I'm called Lord. Were you bit by a radioactive Lord? <laughs> yes, <a> radioactive Lord. <laughs> was the nurse <laughs> like? Oh was the nurse typing in your name and like? <laughs> she's, she, she's like typing Matthew, and she's then somebody scanned her. And she goes, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> it was one of those nurses who instinctively types everything she exclaims. Of course. So in the states, do you have those kind of um, when you don't know what to get someone as a gift, you just go down to a store and you buy like an envelope and it has a kind of a, a, a quick gift in it where it's like drive a car or go in a hot air balloon or something like that. Like those no, sort of experience like gift. a gift certificate. No, I don't no. think so. Oh yeah, we do. So if you just want to go in a hot air balloon in the UK, you just go into your local store. You just store. buy a voucher. Wow, we do. Okay, like, everybody in the UK will agree with me. You can definitely go into WH Smiths and buy a hot air balloon voucher. That's, that's, that's wow. amazing. We, thing in America, do, yeah. we just yeah. find someone who already has one and we kill him and take <laughs> yeah, his yeah, balloon. That's, that's how we work. <laughs> that's why hot air balloon murders are very high. Very high. Well, one of the things they sell there is become a lord. So you just go inside and they've got all the other different experiences and one of them is become a lord. So I looked into it and the way they do it is there's basically just one crazy person in Scotland who owns <laughs> the right piece of land, which if you own even just a small square centimetre of this land, okay. that is lordship land. Wow. So all you need to do is you just need to pay him and then he will say, right, that's your bit of land. He puts a tiny little, you know, like a little um, toothpick in it with a little flag on the end of your name. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> amazing. That's, that's basically your land. You can you have all rights that you would have any other piece of land. Sure. And along with it becomes lordship title. That's crazy. So that then made huh. me, so I was born Matthew Ronald Waite, and then I was Lord Matthew Ronald Waite instead of Mr. Matthew Ronald Waite. So I'm okay. a lord. Okay, interesting. Yep. So I'm a lord. I'm pleased with that. That's great. I actually bought lordship for all of my friends as well. And I was like, I'll get oh. for myself. It's, it's not very expensive. Because you don't want to be alone in the lord. You club. wanted to build a no. house of lords. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lordship in the UK is not as expensive as it would seem. I'm, no, I'm not going to reveal the like numbers, it. but uh, yeah. Wow, that's <laughs> really cool. $100. My grandpa bought a, like a square centimeter or a square inch of Kentucky land. Uh, but <laughs> Does that make him a Kentucky? It, 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 yeah, it makes him a Kentucky. <laughs> so uh, he's actually my cousin as well. Oh, boy. Uh, take that, Kentucky. Take that, Kentucky. <laughs> uh, no, that's, that's, that's but then, very well, interesting. Well, the story goes on. Oh, it goes oh, on, Jack. It does go on. Okay. So at this point, remember, keep up. What was my first name? Matthew. Matthew. Yeah, Ronald Way. And then it become... Lord, Lord Matthew. Matthew wanted to wait, but okay. Lord was the title. Right. So I was going on vacation, right? Uh -huh. But I didn't renew my passport. So I had to go to the 24-hour emergency passport renewal place. Okay. And when I was there, um, you can actually have, on a UK passport, it doesn't say your title. It just says your name. But there is a page at the back which can say uh, what your titles are. So you can put Lord on a little sheet. Huh. So you basically do, get, if you are a real Lord in the UK, you show your passport, it says your name, and then you just make sure that the flight attendant, you just go, oh, by the way, <laughs> just pull that page back and make I sure you see Lord. my Lordship. Yeah, you know, maybe you can let me sit in first class. Here's a parachute, yeah. just in case. <laughs> <laughs> that's why people get it. It's just like a bit of fun, and maybe you get the, the that's first awesome. five seats. But the girl who was serving me in the passport office, she just got very confused. Uh -oh. And I was in a rush. I had a plane to catch. Yeah. And I don't really know exactly how it happened, but I ended up signing a deed poll in the room, and then I changed my name to Lord Matthew wow. Ronald Wake. Wow. So I am now Lord, Lord Matthew Ronald Wake. <laughs> That's my name. It's a huge cock up. <laughs> Lordy, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's so when, pretty when great. When I receive letters in the post now, like sometimes I don't know if you um, sign up for your mobile cell phone contracts, mobile, sorry. No, we, only, yeah. we sell them in envelopes in the hospital. Good job. <laughs> Yeah, but when you sign up for things, they probably, when, when they ask you on the phone, they'll just say Mr., Mrs., sure. or Miss. Right. Usually the drop down box, which they have on the website or whatever, doesn't have the word Lord in it. Right. So I end up having being Mr. anyway. <laughs> so now I'm just Mr. Lord Matthew Way, or if there is a Lord, a Lord Lord. But <laughs> Mr. I don't know. Lord, I can't Lord, even keep Matt up. Man, it's, it's, on the to do list is fix my name. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get to it. I'll like get there one of these days. I like the Scottish guy's idea. I think we should. Um, sell like t lordships or titleships to Wii Studios. <laughs> so you can become uh, a Wii. Yeah, like a, yeah. A tile in the Wii mosaic. Yeah, the, the, night, the knights of Wii. I don't know. The, the knights who say Wii. The knights who say Wii. That could be a thing. <laughs> All right, if you guys... Give, just give us money. Just send us that money and you can we'll get We'll call a you whatever the fuck we do. And you'll get a phony knight ship. <laughs> Does the word Wii mean like you're right here as well? 
It, it means it means pee pee. It means small. It means, it means uh, an exclamation of joy. Well, that's Scottish. Yeah, uh, but I know, I never, we piece of uh, we. Yeah, we piece. Uh, yeah. You know, I never actually realized that uh, calling ourselves we studios are we calling ourselves piss studios in, in the UK. UK you are part definitely. Of the world? There's okay. no doubt about it. You are piss studios in the UK. <laughs> so sure. you you yeah. you came to our podcast and you listened. And you were like we studios. I was like these piss studio guys talking about <laughs> prostitutes. <laughs> They're the ones I want to sponsor. <laughs> By That's the, way, the kind of business our, I need for Jack. We have our all <laughs> prostitute podcast coming up right after this one. <laughs> we, that, that also explains uh, our partnership with Pooh Studios. <laughs> <laughs> I think, oh, I think now we've got to start a Pooh Studios. I think we need to. We might have to raise some money. Pooh Studios is coming out. We've got to raise some money. Maybe we should sell uh, nights yeah. of poo. Uh, <laughs> we'll sell nuggets of corn in Pooh <laughs> oh, Studios. Jesus. All right, uh, I think that's, <laughs> that's enough. That's our show. Good night, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Uh, we're already almost uh, 10 minutes into the show. So, Matthew, I want to ask you... I'm sorry, Lord Matthew. Yeah, get it right. I'm your Lord, sponsor. Lord no, Matthew. I know. I'm, I'm going to sponsor again so if I'm Matthew. You are, you're the patron <laughs> of our art here. Um, <clears throat> as our guest, uh-huh. you may not know this. It is your right to choose our first topic of this episode of 90s Percentile. Or yep. you can go into the random topic generator... But be forewarned that death is a topic, and if it comes <laughs> up, we will all kill ourselves. But this gets it gets a little even more confusing. There's another topic that's also death, but then we just talk about death. Right. It's not the same as the death. Is it nineties themed death? It's it's nineties themed, themed death. death. Why it's was death, death by snap different. bracelet? Yes. But uh, <laughs> but the thing is, we can't tell which is which. So just to be safe, we still have to kill ourselves. Yeah, it's right. a, yeah. it's it's confusing, but yeah. I think it's for a good cause. Uh, the, the, the guy that came up with the rules of lordship also wrote the rules of uh, of a <laughs> random the rules topic of generator of P and Poo Studios <laughs> topic generator. But anyway, Matthew, I believe you do have a topic. Is that correct? I do have a topic because I have topics that I'm pretty sure no one else will bring in. Okay, because you you definitely not got people that are going to bring in a couple of these. So. Okay, I don't oh. think we. Are. So yeah. we got 49 minutes and 20 seconds first topic on the clock. Is Star Wars. Our first topic, Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, what is our actual first topic, Matthew? Well, can I just give a quick name drop to one topic that I you don't think certainly can. Don't think it's big enough to talk about. Okay, but okay. I want That's it to be mentioned said. because did she? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been asked that before. Oh, it's not big enough to talk. <laughs> no, she just she just uh, said it. There uh, she is. Uh, two British people here at <laughs> yep. the same time. What a coincidence! Well, she left very quickly after she <laughs> so popped her head back and to say one. That. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's my old friend, Lady Wee. Yes, <laughs> back from the UK. <laughs> Meaning I took her lady, straight across. La- lady yeah. piss <laughs> in the states. <laughs> What's all this mucking about? <laughs> and then she left again. I can't believe it. Anyway, what's the first topic? <laughs> Listen, I want to name drop it. I'm going to name drop it. You okay, ready? The, but this is not our actual. This is not topic. the topic because okay, you won't okay. know what it is. Uh, I, bet, I bet one of us knows what it is. You I bet. I you ready? Bet, I okay, bet okay. Okay. of us will know. The British Empire. The British? The British Empire. B-R-T-B-R-I-T-I-S-S? No one knows what it is. I don't know what that is. The British Empire is the greatest sitcom ever made. Oh. Yeah. It was on BBC. It's in the 90s. Have you ever heard of Red Dwarf? I have. I've never watched Red Dwarf, but I've heard of it. You heard of it? Uh, that's the sci-fi. Yeah. That's show. right. Yeah. yeah. So you know Rimmer in it, the one with the hologram, big H on his head. No, I only have, know of it. I don't know it. You don't know of it. Yeah. You're just saying that. No, I know of it. I've heard, <laughs> I've heard Red I've Dwarf. Heard the title Red Dwarf. It's been Dwarf. on my to-watch list for <laughs> yeah, a long, exactly. long time. Yeah, exactly. I'll probably never get to it. I don't it. remember the hologram well, person. Well, British, British Empire was basically a show set in a leisure center. Okay. I don't know what that is. I don't know what you that know what leisure center is. Okay. I'm gonna have to refer to an American friend here. Like an arcade? Uh, can I do this like millionaire or something? Can I yeah, phone of course. A you can phone a friend. Can phone a friend. Yes. I need to find out what the American word is for leisure center. Okay, okay. we're going to uh, get our friends at AT&T. So <laughs> it's a place where oh, it's very sporty. I'm going to help you out, Lord. <laughs> He's going to ask his real friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you later. All right. It's like, <laughs> it's like a big sport place. There's a swimming pool. There's like tennis courts, squash courts. Every, there's like changing rooms. Everybody okay, goes in so with that, the towels. That like sounds a like, a, like, a, like, a, like a gym even. No, not a gym. No? no, there's a gym in it, no, but it's not a gym. You're wrong, Dan. Yeah, and there's... Uh, like a fitness club, I a guess. fitness club, maybe. Fitness club. A fitness club, maybe. All right, maybe. I was the phone a friend. <laughs> and you just won a million dollars! What? <laughs> what is <laughs> going on here? <laughs> Wait, I thought, I thought this was who wants to be a millionaire. Is this... <laughs> what is this? Yeah, who wants to be a millionaire? The 90s game show has... That decided, was a 90s topic. It decided, I did it. it was. It decided <laughs> to become a, a Piss Studios podcast. <laughs> a Piss Studios production, Jack. We're classy. Yeah, I just want to name drop this because yeah. I know no one else ever will. No one no. in the UK remembers it. It's a and comedy. It was, it was a comedy set in the Ledger Center, which should be very sleepy and very calm. Now, why but was it called the British Empire? Is the lead character some... was okay. a character called Gordon Brittus. Oh. And he was, uh, he's basically 
just the most fabulous British arsehole. You know okay. when you watch these different British sitcoms, that's where we excel, isn't it? A good British sitcom is a is. good British arsehole. It's funny, I, yeah. I like a lot of British sitcoms, but I don't, I've never heard of that one. Yeah, the American sitcoms, I mean, I'm... I'm surprised it's not on Netflix. Yeah. Netflix, no, I don't think it like, will be. No one even in the UK Brit- remembers Britflix. it. Britflix. No, no. But uh, every episode, it would have an explosion with sort of these high, huge flames and explosions. It would have death. <laughs> Sign epi- me up. There's an episode where Britta's chops someone head off with a chainsaw. Why do they keep going And it's all just set in this center. sleepy little yeah, fitness center. Yeah, but it's center. the most crazy... Um, that sounds uh, amazing. This is, sounds very like a amazing. great show. Good. This is pretty much just a name drop. What does this okay. have to do with Red Dwarf? It has one of the same actors. Ah, Mr. Britta's okay. is Arnold. Yeah. Did it last for two seasons of six episodes? It lasted for, I think, five seasons. And oh, they that's dropped, a lot for then they, Well, then they dropped the writers and got some new writers and then another two that were just awful. Aww. So he, he dies in the last episode of season five. <laughs> and then in the first episode of season six, it turns out that he's such a British arsehole that God sent him back to Earth. <laughs> so oh. it just broke That's all funny. reality. It already broke reality pretty strong. So the moral at that point, of the story they just gave is up. be yeah. as horrible a person as you possibly Definitely. can and yeah. you live forever. Yeah. That's yeah, it's exactly. a really cool show. It actually had um, the first non kind of campy gay characters in it as well. Okay. And it was nice. on kind of 6 p.m. on BBC in the 90s, which is wait, a bit wait, unusual. Non campy, yeah, even they, though they were, a, a show there were where... two characters where they weren't, that wasn't the joke, it wasn't the topic. It but was just, stuff they just would blow up and there'd be chainsaws around them. Yeah, I love exactly. it. That's awesome. Yeah, really good show. That's okay. fantastic. So that, that was, that's my name drop, not my real subject, because okay. if I was to just go ahead with that now, I don't imagine yeah. where you would take that. We'd probably talk about <laughs> weed for an hour. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. We talk about cigar fishing, not a weirdly. Yeah. <laughs> and then the other idea I had, this also isn't my idea. Okay. Am I meant to be doing this, talking about what aren't my ideas? Is no, okay? it just, you can talk about whatever you want. <laughs> You're the guest. <laughs> this just saves up time, I guess. Until we get to the first topic, I guess you are in control of the show. This is the first time this has ever happened. I want to see if we can hold off on actually hearing the topic, topic until 59 minutes and 59 <laughs> yeah. seconds on the clock. Well, the yeah. other topic I wanted to do was how in the UK... This, this is not the topic. This, is, basically, a, look, look, you're this not, is another potential this topic. This is a potential topic. You did not because choose. I've got to get all this out. Okay. You don't have very many British guests, so I've got to do That's all true. the British things. All your British fans are just like, you've got to talk about it. You, know? you are our first British yeah. guest, in fact. Yeah. We, we love yeah. our oh, first on 90s percentile. You <laughs> you're our first British guest. Yeah. Named Lord. Yeah. Named Matthew. Yeah. Named Lord. Named Lord. There is a Lord. There is a Lord. But anyway, your, your, your other runner-up topic, what, what is it? How in the 90s, the UK turned into the 80s from America. <laughs> really? So yeah. it, it was a decade behind culturally. Well, before that, we were just the UK. But right. once we hit the 90s, we become America. America. Really? Yeah, oh, like 10 I years see. ago. Supermarkets didn't have them. Like cable TV wasn't a thing. McDonald's. Um, McDonald's. Yeah, about just a bit. But I remember going to McDonald's with my nan in the nineties, and she just sat down and refused to let me go up to the counter because yeah. she thought that was just rude to just go up to the front. All right. So nineteen forty-five, end of World War Two. Yeah. America enters the world stage as a superpower. You still hang on for about forty-five <laughs> years with your own I- identity and culture. I think so. Yeah. And then there I was, guess there's definitely, it was when we become a lot more American, and The Simpsons was a part of that. Getting yeah. things like The Simpsons coming on TV, getting their satellite and their cable, and you know all our different new types of stores. Internet, sure. internet was theme parks. Theme parks weren't really a thing until the nineties. You just right, went right. to the leisure centers. Yeah, <laughs> and leisure centers was definitely a nineties thing. That's what that show was about. Huh. So I wanted to talk about that, but then I went on vacation to New York, okay. went to Fire Island, didn't do any research. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and gave up, realized I can't talk about that for ninety minutes. I'm sure. going to have to talk about some fake subjects at this start, at least. Go right. down going, to 43 minutes. Going on vacation <laughs> instead of podcasting is something me and Dan uh, can very much identify with. <laughs> yes. By the way, yeah. I'm on vacation right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. You're in July 3rd, July 5th. I, it's July 4th right now. <laughs> No, I don't know that. In Japan. I don't know what... Not in, you, you. In Japan, it's like it's like 20 years in the future, so I don't even know where I am. <laughs> I really don't understand what the different I'm celebrations are in the US. I get very confused between the, the different Thanksgiving and Christmas. They seem very similar to me, because we eat a turkey on Christmas Day. Yeah, right, we do so. too, actually. We, so, well, Why? some people do. What's a, oh, some I thought do. turkey's I a big Christmas. I don't eat turkey. Well, I don't know what I eat on Christmas. What do you eat? Goat? Mm. Yeah, we eat goat. <laughs> we <laughs> sacrifice <laughs> a goat to our pagan well, god. Right, you're a Satanist. Well, you're that doing it traditionally. That <laughs> I'm a probably more accurate, isn't it? Yeah, a little yeah. bit. You know, we like goats. Uh, yeah, I guess they're similar. You, you, I, think the, I think the best part of Thanksgiving Christmas is if you're married, uh, you can split them up. And go, so, you, you know, you can either go to the wife's family or the husband's family or the husband's right. and husband's or the wife's and the wife's. Uh, but uh, you do that one for Thanksgiving, one for Christmas. I think that's the biggest advantage. Oh, or, so or, you, or if you're like me, you basically f- invented Christmas too, but didn't call it Christmas exactly. too. Exactly. Or Thanksgiving. That's very Thanksgiving zero. It's funny that you uh, say. <laughs> it's funny that you say Christmas too because in my family we do have a Christmas too. We do actually <laughs> we celebrate the second, and, and we call it Christmas well, too. Well, I also do a Christmas too as well, but that's because now if you're married and then your partner has bro- uh, split parents, they they divorced, and right. your partner has split parents. You have a Thanksgiving now you've got too. Four Christmases. What's that? You have uh, a Thanksgiving too. Because um, then you'd have eight. 
You would you you could do four Thanksgivings. Basically, every yeah. day in America is a holiday. We just eat a we have lot. so many Thanksgivings. <laughs> We're just so <laughs> thankful we, for getting away from you. But, by the way, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. So we, we have adopted Halloween. We can cope with that. Halloween is yeah, you know all those goblins and ghouls and skeletons. Aren't they a thing? <laughs> well, but, Hall- but that's, that's fine. Halloween was not an American holiday. Yes, it was. was. Don't think was it's it really? an American. Well, no, all well, Hallows Eve is all not. Eve. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. the I, the, the, I guess the, the commercialization, on, the candy. Yeah. Well, sure. we, we've picked it up. That wasn't a thing. Even like five years. ago. Oh, that's pe- what, there's going to be people in the UK disagreeing with me, but I think. On, but they're not on, on the podcast. Exactly. And you are. I you am can your say whatever you want. It was not a thing until five years ago. Well, some, some of us are still holding out against yeah. the commercialization of Halloween. I still say Merry Halloween. <laughs> I won't say Happy Halloween. I think <laughs> right. that's. I think that's just offensive. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, I, want, I want a giant pumpkin on the White House lawn. <laughs> the war on Halloween is starting earlier it's, it's, and earlier just, every it's year. It's getting ridiculous. Too. It's, it's Thanksgiving and July the fourth that we just can't. You back. Just don't have. We just can't get behind those two. Right. But you've well, got to have st- big holidays that we don't. Well, what we do is we have the original fireworks. So on November the fifth, we oh, have right. fireworks night. Right. That is. I, r- November, I remember that. November yeah. the fifth uh, is the 5th. Guy, Guy Fox Day. And right? do you know why we celebrate it on November the fifth? Uh, remember the member the fifth of November. It was when Guy Fox's foiled assassination of plot. No, plot, uh, no. It was when he was foiled. So we we basically in the UK. This is what we actually celebrate, and I could never imagine you guys. Is doing this, this a in America. topic? This Guy is not Fox the topic. Day? We'll okay. get there. We'll get to the topic. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we never get to Do the topic, we, st- we still have a guest we haven't introduced. <laughs> <laughs> if, we have, <laughs> if we ever get to the topic, if we don't get to the topic, I'm just going to post this episode as question marks. <laughs> <laughs> just like surprise. <laughs> all right, all right, Guy Fox. Yeah, Guy Fox. What we actually celebrate, uh, and the, I'm pretty sure of this. I might Wikipedia this in a bit. We can I'm do pr- it on the big board let's, if you want. Let's do it. But I'm I'm pretty sure, 90 percent sure. What we actually celebrate is an attempt to explode the British Houses of Parliament and kill everybody inside. So that's, 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 that's my it's understanding too. That's, yeah, no, yeah, exactly. That's that's what it is. It's basically saying, you know what, the government. They weren't great. Let's try and blow them up. Oh, right. poor guy didn't win. We'll celebrate it by blowing things up every November the 5th since Interesting. On. Yeah, could you imagine that? Could uh, you actually imagine if you did that? We don't, we don't all... Doesn't <laughs> everyone celebrate uh, the, the, the birthday of the guy that took that shot at Ronald Reagan? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Will, John William Hinckley yeah. Day. Yeah. Firing guns John William yeah. Hinckley Day. Yeah. I, you, yeah, November you, 5th. You're not coming to my, my Hinckley party? <laughs> of course I am, and I'm oh. bringing Jodie Foster. Oh, uh, also, I, but uh, it's a day before because I'm having Hinckley 2 with my, oh, with my stepmom. Obviously. Uh, yeah, let's see. We looked it up here. Guy Fox not uh, Guy Fox Night, also known as Guy Fox Day. I guess it depends. <laughs> okay. What, what, t- what time? That. Depends if you're in Japan or not. <laughs> should we add that? Should we add the face yeah, Guy Fox Day that. on Wikipedia? I think we should. Uh, bonfire Night and Fire... Oh, you called it Firework Night. Yeah, Firework Night. Uh, depends where you Guy from Fox, you a member of the gunpowder plot, was arrested yeah. while guarding explosives the plotters had placed beneath the House of Lords. You're, they were trying to Uh-oh. blow up your house, Matt. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, celebrating the fact that King James I had survived the attempt in his life, people lit bonfires around London, and months oh, later... And London. So people were celebrating <laughs> that it was a failure. <laughs> Yeah, that, I think, that seems I, what it I, think, is. I guess you could do that then, but that still seems a little bit in bad taste to me. I think, I, yeah. yeah, I think as long as you're not talking to any of uh, King James' direct descendants, yeah. I think your your theory, you're free to tell everybody your theory. It's weird as well because the other thing we do is we get a load of old clothes, stuff it with straw, and then set it on fire. That's every holiday in England. Merry <laughs> <laughs> Christmas! Christmas I got yeah. you old clothes stuffed <laughs> with straw. Oh, uh, it's just what I always wanted. Uh, um, wait, wait, what's this Pope Day here? I've never heard Settlers of explored Guy Fawkes Day? To, uh, Pope? <laughs> so, oh, no, so we, uh, British emigrate, emigres, right? Is that the word? Emigres to sure. other countries would celebrate Guy Fawkes Night, but they call it in North America Pope Day. Pope Interesting. Day. So mm-hmm. there you go. I don't even I like, remember. I like that there's no explanation as to why it's Pope Day. Oh, there as is. far it's as the, I know, it's that big no, paragraph right before there. No, there's so nothing but the Pope the in there. says Puritan no. celebrated sermons regarding the perceived dangers of Popery. I guess we'll never know why they called it Pope Day. While they're increasing raucous. I guess they just loved the Pope so much he felt he needed a day. Popular hate figures such as the Pope. Our topic today is Pope Day. <laughs> our traditional '90s topic. <laughs> Pope Day. You all got your Pope Day fireworks <laughs> and your Pope effigies filled with straw. Do you eat turkey on Pope Day? <laughs> Absolutely. I eat Pope. <laughs> I, I eat Pope. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> good old Pope. Uh, it's, uh, it's sacrilegious. It's been, it's been very good the last couple of years. I like that, that, that Arge- Argentinian Pope. flavor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's really, uh, you know, <laughs> it's got a lot of sabor to it. <laughs> It's like, you know, it's like the many fishes and loaves. He just keeps cutting off a right. hand. Every, and, every year, and, Obama yeah. picks one pope to spare, and that becomes <laughs> the actual pope. I got you, I got you, Obama. <laughs> 
Uh, okay. So, uh, should I, like I, move, on, should in... I move on to the next? Not quite the topic. But oh, you have another one. <laughs> Just like you have we've a... invented several holidays on this episode. Yeah. You this have a great. You have a third runner-up to uh, <laughs> your uh, '90s topic. Well, these ones are not. They aren't really the topic. This the, is um... still not the topic. We're, we we will get to the topic. This one's not a topic. The, Jack, the question mark episode title is seeming more and more <laughs> likely. <laughs> you should open up a uh, a goth store in the mall and call it Not Topic. Huh? <laughs> 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 So this one, uh, like hot well, topic. <laughs> but, I get it, but not. But that, is that was that was not funny. <laughs> Actually, it kind of was. All right, so something is something that is was happening. Not topical. <laughs> topic. Some, what is top topic? Are you just checking your hot, Facebook? Oh, are we boring you? <laughs> I no. thought you were looking something up. You are literally just looking at your own Facebook profile. <laughs> we believe you. Your name is Lord. <laughs> Hot, hot Topic, by the way, is a, is a store. I guess it's just in the States. He where doesn't it, care. He's Facebook. All right, whatever. No, no, I'm getting something useful. <laughs> we don't want to interrupt your Facebook time. I'm <laughs> getting, should I'm we talk about our first topic, Facebook? All right, I found it. <laughs> all right, well, well, so this is not a topic. This is not a topic. So bas- we, basically what we've talked about so far is the two topics and why I couldn't bring them in as topics. Of course. I'm, the, I'm basically setting the scene. Okay. Is that not something that you guys All do? Right. No, I'm you setting can, the we, scene we of do. how I come to this of topic. Of course, set the scene. This is we relevant have, background information. Is, you know, in America, <laughs> there's 35 rush, minutes. We rush through these things on American podcasts. British podcasts, they take, they their, take time. their time. They, take their they time. go 25 minutes without a topic. There's, thir- and it's just there's totally 35 okay. minutes and 19 seconds on right, the clock, right, right, right. and Matt is uh, setting the scene <laughs> yeah. for our eventual topic. I'm, yeah, I'm weaving a towel. It was a cold <laughs> night in Wii Studios. This is like this podcast is going to be like a Dickens novel. We're going to we're going to release it in chapters. Jacob Marley. <laughs> Come to visit us. We're gonna yeah. get, like, is that, is that, is that uh, the uh, famous Hinkley Carol? <laughs> yes, that it you're is. Reciting? Ebenezer, you've <laughs> wasted your Hinkley day. <laughs> <laughs> so you there, my boy, what day is it? Hey, why why is Hinkley, Hinkley day, day, sir? Get me the biggest turkey filled with straw. <laughs> Put up your Jodie Foster tree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a whole big oh, thing. Don't, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hinkley uh, killed, uh, or he tried H- to kill took Ronald, a shot Reagan. At Ronald Reagan. He shot oh, Ronald Reagan right. uh, <laughs> because he was yeah. obsessed with Jodie <laughs> Foster. He was trying to impress <laughs> Jodie Foster, yeah, yeah. who anyway. was like 15 at the time. Yes. Oh, my f- phone's locked. Hang on. So if you want to impress Jodie Foster, well, I guess he's dead perfect, now. Perfect way to do it. Well, you can dig up the body, and stuff it with straw, and set it on fire on Pope Day. On Hinkley Day. Well, the subject. So the two non-subjects, which I've gone through. Okay. Uh, I was thinking, what am I going to bring in? So I just started thinking, well, I did sponsor the show. So maybe I can go- do something kind of related to that. Sure. So um, Did you? You haven't mentioned that yet. <laughs> <laughs> is it jock.com? J-O-Q.com. I was warned when I set up their name. reboot of the internet or something? I don't remember what we said in one of our promos. Was there anything in, we did maybe, what, seven ads, I think, for you between the two podcasts. Was there anything once that we said in the ad that was factual about your company? You got the gist of it. Okay. We got the gist of it. That's all you got. We got the gist. Yeah, you got the name. I, I was warned when I set it up that it's not a radio-friendly name. Right, right, right. Because it's yeah. Jersey. That's like yeah, the, yeah, yeah. That's you like got a, that right. That's all I cared about. That's Jer- like <laughs> Kentucky Fried yeah. Chicken commercials. They get yeah. the gist. They're like, eh, chicken. It's chicken. It's chicken. It's chicken. It's, chicken. it's yeah. fried. <laughs> it's the gist of chicken. Yeah. <laughs> it's the gist of chicken. All right, you're uh, your well, third runner-up here. So, <laughs> your third runner-up. <laughs> I thought, I'll read back to myself the Jock Commission statement. Are you ready for this? Okay. <laughs> and then this is how I got to my so, subject. So this, so this is, is the mission statement the of your <laughs> actual company, Jock.com. This is the Jock Commission statement, okay. which will then lead on to, probably, if you look at the clock, about halfway <laughs> through the <laughs> show. Yes. The actual subject. Are we, are okay, we getting, right, are we right, getting our usual ready. advertisement fee for this? <laughs> <laughs> 1,000 <laughs> quatloos. <laughs> <laughs> Seven right. Hinkleys to a fox. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> So the Jock Commission statement, to develop outrageous and courageous products and services to enable individuals to better themselves in courageous and outrageous ways so that Jock may one day acquire enough cash to purchase the Walt Disney Company and bring about <laughs> world peace forever. I think that is, <laughs> that's awesome. That's you a should, great mission statement. I, I, we should have thought to uh, put that on the air back in the day. We should have, but also I hope that our, our, uh, our reading of spots for Jock.com brought you a little closer to that goal. It did. I probably didn't. <laughs> no, you said, that very, you okay, said okay. that very genuinely, but I'm if almost any, positive yeah. that... If anybody's <laughs> thinking about sponsoring your show, um, it was it was incredible. There was thousands of people ringing up the <laughs> phones. Were off the hook. You. There you go. <laughs> One guy was like, right, Piss Studios, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, so that made me think about Disney. 
Oh, and, okay. Yeah. So okay. We're, we're, getting, we're getting somewhere now. We're getting so somewhere. We're getting, we're getting to, somewhere. This we're getting is somewhere. the actual topic, right? And Disney's something that I'm very, very passionate about. And I do really think if you own Disney, you could totally bring about world peace. So that is the drug commission statement. Probably. Just gather up or the Or just cash. make a bunch of Star Wars movies. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah that's the, yeah, there's some <laughs> or, tragic. Or get yeah. Iron Man and Spider-Man in one movie. All, yeah. and, oh, they're so collectors, aren't they? <laughs> Muppets, Marvel, Muppets, Star Marvel, Wars, Pixar, Star Wars, yeah. Yeah. I was Indiana Jones. This, I was thinking about this the other day. What's to stop them from buying more? We could be seeing in like maybe within like 10 years like a Star Wars uh, I don't know Morgan Freeman and Brad Pitt 7 crossover <laughs> Star <laughs> like, Wars episode 7 get, I mean they could literally just keep buying properties and com- and combining them yeah well I'm sure that they will okay they're a big unless they're Matt a big, stops uh, them conglomerate. and this is something which I want to talk about because okay. in the 90s okay. if you remember they had Michael Eisner I do remember and he gets a lot of flack pussy is that oh. a fair <laughs> oh yeah maybe but I think <laughs> yeah he does bro <laughs> 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 woo the eyes, master. <laughs> oh yeah, the eyes have it. Uh, the big cheese always getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing goofy about his dog. <laughs> what? That, that hardly made sense. Uh, I got. Uh, I'm all right. <laughs> I'm past. <laughs> this I is my w- my I topic. I had. My topic, right? Michael Eisner's Disney. That's my topic. So Michael Eisner's Disney is, is the my topic. topic. All right, Ooh. because I think in the nineties. You had a load of great stuff going on, yet Michael Eisner is remembered as just this arsehole that run him into the ground. So let's when if you look at them today, now yeah. I think they're probably not doing as many interesting things as they were then. So you think Disney's doing less interesting things now? I really do. That's interesting. He's not wrong. I'm definitely not wrong. Okay, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna need to bring up when Michael Eisner was actually in charge okay. of Disney. Uh, so I also want to bring up, up very quickly, mm-hmm. uh, just in case. I don't know why, but uh, so my Michael mother Eisner... knows Michael Eisner, and she says that he was a very nice man. Now again, she was really? dealing with him in very Small. How do you uh, have all these weird friend tangents? Uh, well, <laughs> you she, do have a lot of weird friend she, tangents. She Jack. was a secretary to a very powerful Wall Street uh, businessman. Um, Is that similar to the other story which you told before? The very blue Las Vegas. No, no, no. there was there was no there was no porn stars involved right. with mom and and, and Michael, <laughs> Michael Eisner. Eisner. <laughs> that we know of. She, she said he was a nice man. Although she did well, say he was a nice man. she did say uh, my son uh, is uh, interested in filming, and he's like, you know, keep yeah. at it. <laughs> <laughs> so you know. great advice, Mikey Eyes. All right, um, Mickey, Mickey Blue Eyes. Mickey Blue Eyes. That's what. So that's in what the late in the late nineties, there was actually a website called Save Disney, and you'd go on okay. it, and it was basically I think it was Roy Disney who was just trying to just kick Michael Eisner. Out. I do remember this. Roy Disney was the son, grandson, s- gr- probably grandson. Uh, no, he's a nephew. Nephew. Ne- nephew. nephew of Walt Disney. Okay, and I'm sure nephew he was a great guy. I'm, I'm I'm gonna say it on record. Jock states Roy Disney was a great guy. There okay. you go. Jock there sponsors you go. Roy Disney. There you go. <laughs> okay. So. Roy um, Disney official I think sponsory. Michael Eisner was pretty cool too and I don't quite understand what all the hatred is because if you look back on his resume of things he did for Disney he'd done all the best stuff right okay so we're hey, looking so he started looking now. so he started at Disney from 1984 to 2005 yeah. which was the exact same period of time that I hadn't given up on my life yet I was yeah, no, and do you know why that was because, because basically every two or three years it was a great Disney movie exactly keeping me keeping yeah. me afloat so basically all of the 90s Disney was basically, under Michael just Eisner's off, quickly fist. just you know, flash round. Just name some Disney stuff, and it will have been him. You got a Drew Carey show. Yes, because he bought ABC. Yes, yes, yes. and ABC produced Drew Carey. Show. I believe he bought ESPN. I mean, well really bad that Disney World ride. That, that's something I don't know if that the was... the Drew Carey World Disney Disneyland ride. I'm the pretty Drew sure. Do you not remember that one? It sounds dangerous. Drew Carey sounds dangerous. Wait, that was a wait rubbish a ride. I was joking, but apparently there really was a Drew Carey yes. Disneyland ride. Yeah, it's the moon unless over I'm karma. doing some <laughs> really high level joke to just trick you. I, I, would, I wouldn't D- put it past you. Gone wiki, in your wiki, dry yeah. humor. Let's get it as on the wiki machine. The Drew Carey sounds dangerous. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so that, well, that basically this ride this is the ride which Disney built yeah you go into the room <laughs> okay. you sit down they switch off the lights you put on some skanky old headphones that have been worn by a thousand tourists within the last oh, hour oh we do that with our guests yeah you <laughs> do that with your guests but you're <laughs> a podcast true. you stick them on your head and then in pitch black you listen to Drew Carey doing dangerous things and that was the right. That, that was, this, you're not that bullshitting sounds, us. I am not bullshitting you. <laughs> that sounds. This is Drew Carey, it was in Disney's MGM Studios. Right. Okay. It was terrible. <clears throat> it, I'm gonna. It that's pretty the, terrible. I've got one or two things on the Michael Eisner not so good list, and that's that's one of them. Okay. It's there called. It's called Sounds Dangerous. Drew Carey <laughs> sounds dangerous. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Uh, that, this really yeah, was. Yeah, it had a very short film at the start. They switched off the lights. You just sat there in pitch black, listening to used headphones, I, and, and uh, it was the most boring thing. I used to go into it for just for a nap. It the entirety brilliant. of it is on YouTube. So uh, we uh, have it uh, here. Uh, okay, it's on YouTube. Yeah. Look, just scroll through the video. Look, two minutes forty nine onwards. It's just pure black. There's nothing to see. It's just no, in the dark. We've lost the picture completely. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. We're still getting audio. All right, Buster. We can hear everything you hear. Keep going. I'm silently entering Moreno's office. What's the deal with global warming? I'm cold now. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wait, it's dark in here. All right, we probably shouldn't play too hey, much of this. Looks different. It was. Uh, it was it not. It was not terrible. a great ride. That was it was not, really terrible. That was not it, it neither was, exciting nor interesting. One of the most budget rides you could ever find. One more yeah. time. I'm just going to skip ahead. Assuming sure. It's more let's exciting. let's get to the end. No, it does not get more exciting. It was an elephant. All... What? An you elephant? You discovered our code word? No, behind you. It's a big elephant. <laughs> <laughs> No, wow. <laughs> this was the thing. This was. Um, this can you, can you find terrible. out what year it opened? Because I think the height of technology then was stereo. Yeah. So you'd have yeah. it in the it left like ear, yeah, yeah, yeah. have it in the right ear. <laughs> you know, you're wearing these headphones and it's moving Where from left elephant? to right. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't so it was, in front of you or behind you. So it, it was, was just left and right. It was basically <laughs> Drew Carey's ASMR. <laughs> what's that? Okay, okay. That's okay. Normally, when I listen to this show, you say stuff and I'm like, what? Uh, yeah. what's, what, okay, explain. A ASMR, I think we talked about this on, on one of our Simpsons podcast episodes. Mm. It's, uh, it's uh, this thing, it's very popular on YouTube where you listen with headphones stereo headphones oh. and it's like okay i'm cutting your hair oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, i'm in cleveland right now it's very friend. cold yeah. i have a homebrew coffee beer mix i'm in cleveland and it runs um, you have uh gotten closest to the actual price without going over <laughs> so come on hang on, on is this the same thing as when you like stroke things very gently into a microphone and then people listen to it yes it is yeah and it's that's a thing too yeah. Yeah. god yeah, it's all, internet it's all, it's you all guys part of it freaks it's part of some people have this like stimulus response where they get all tingly and i don't know if it's sexual or if Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Who's to say? Who knows? Whatever friend, you want to do. Uh, Chris Liverpool lives in London in Greenwich. Chrissy P. Yeah, Chrissy P. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. oh. He says that he has it. And when he listens to it, it just makes everything go a bit tingly. Okay. Yeah. I don't have anything else like that. Apart from if I put my head too close to my brother's head, my teeth hurt. That's the... Really? <laughs> That's the only your brother, was your brother also written, bitten by a radioactive lord? <laughs> <laughs> that just could be, uh, you know, the, yeah. the powers canceling each other out. <laughs> but no other tinglies, I'm afraid. All right. Yeah. Um... All right, so let's get back. We're, let, let's close Sounds Dangerous. I think we're, we're done. What, we we found the though? elephant. I don't, I don't know if I want to blame him for that one, but Michael Weisner done. Also, um, let's, get, let's get his bad stuff out of the way so we can just get on to the okay, long, so long list of great things well, because here, wait, wait, wait. we will run out of time. Here's some crazy right? trivia, though. His great-grandmother belonged to an immigrant family that founded Red Bank, New Jersey, which oh. is near where we grew up, uh, and we mentioned uh, yeah, Kevin Smith. Home of is, Kevin Smith? Yeah, from there. I like Kevin yeah. Smith. Um, um, is, he, is that uh, our next runner-up of a topic, Kevin Smith? Kevin Smith. No, uh, Do I like modern-day Kevin Smith more? I um, like Red all State. right, so here's here's why I think Matthew might, or definitely in his <laughs> words, be right uh, about the Disney being more interesting back then. Mm. Because yes, they bought up Star Wars and, and Marvel, which is kind of crazy if you think about it. That was such a huge. Uh, but they were interesting thing. in the first place. But yeah, those are existing properties, and uh, and they're that is kind, a good point. They do have That's a, a cookie point. cutter mentality to them. Uh, whereas I'm guessing, I guess under Eisner's '84 to 2005 reign, you had the entire animated renaissance, starting exactly. with uh, Little Mermaid and, and Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, Lion King. Right, and it's it, and know, the, um, was it the Rescue Down Under? Don't forget that one. Rescue Down Under. I think that was eighty. The one flop which people always no, forget. No, maybe that was, no, that was in between. That was in between Mermaid and. I think, something, I think, I think yeah. you're right. I think it was after yeah. Little Mermaid. Um, yeah, you know, it, it, you're kind of right with what you're saying that now Disney just buys Star yeah. Wars and it buys Marvel and all of the most interesting things. In even in the theme parks, if you yeah. think about the most interesting hotels, the most interesting rides, everything was all in the nineties. It had a huge expansion True. where there's just tremendous but, amount being built, and Disney World just growed. Uh, you had Disney's yeah. California Adventure. I think that started then. You had right. the, uh, extra parks in Japan. The animal parks. one that I animal Disneyland animal. Paris. Disneyland Paris, a huge project. Right, yeah. my and children that, that was all need wine. Yeah, <laughs> he done. You know, just a countless list of great things, and right. the bad list is basically Drew Carey sounds dangerous, which I'm not even completely sure <laughs> so was in on, his era. Hang on a second, just just let's slow it down for a second. Did you legitimately come in here with Drew Carey sounds dangerous on this list? Yes. Uh, and <laughs> we just happened to bring up Drew Carey. That's kind of insane. It's all part but of anyway. his master plan. <laughs> yeah. Did you like? I feel like before we started recording, you primed us like you said the secret word that would unlock Drew Carey in our brain, just so we would say <laughs> Drew Carey on the podcast. Ohio, Ohio, <laughs> there it is! Ohio. Oh my god, I need some Buzz Cola. Is that what buzz it was? No, that was that was from the Simpsons. Buzz Cola is the Simpsons. Yeah. Um, no, also besides buying other properties, even when they use original Disney property, they're cannibalizing their own stuff, like Tomorrowland well, oh, well, and Pirates okay, of the that's Caribbean. Free, oh, yeah, yeah. That's, so, that's what I was going to bring up. That they are buying Star Wars and Marvel, which you guys said were interesting to begin with, and then Disney bought it and and kind of you know it's just riding the coattails a little bit. You know, the same thing could be said of Aladdin Little Mermaid and Little Mermaid. Mermaid. These how, are all how long do we Cinderella. have? Cinderella. How long is on the clock? Because. Michael Eisner did have a couple of things which I think could be said were we pretty got awful. We've got time. we got 22 right. minutes for the get, let's, I, let's hear I, the I awful things. I just want to get the awful stuff out of the way. Okay. Because the good list is much longer. All right. But the awful list must be mentioned because they're pretty bad. Okay. okay. So the other bad thing was uh, the director video sequels. Do you remember that, how bad yes, those were? Yes, I do remember that. That was under his reign where basically Michael Eisner just went, you know what we need? Bambi 7. Let's make what that was one. What yeah. yeah. was the first... The Little Mermaid? The no, 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 no. Return the first of the one was Return, Return of the Far, Far, yes. Which was actually the Disney animated series. And they basically 
watched the first few episodes and thought, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah why not? That. Stick it on the video. We'll just release those. Oh, so I that, didn't that's know why that when you watch the Return of Jafar, it does that very American sort of fade to black and then come back again. For I reason. never noticed that. Yeah, so you've got someone like swinging an axe at Aladdin and you're yeah. like, oh no, he's going to hit him. Oh, fade to black. That's huh. so fade weird. back from black. Oh, the axe is still coming down. Well, I never, <laughs> no, I, I, I never break, noticed but that. But that's where they go, yeah. Because <laughs> I haven't watched Return of Jafar in like 20 years. Was Return of Jafar not theatrically released? No, no, no. But it was very good. I quite like Return of Jafar. Yeah, I did too as well. Because it sold quite well. Um, okay. They then decided they well, we can do that again. Out. Oh man, they cranked them out. There was there was basically a sequel for everything. There was a, right. There was did. a Christmas themed Beauty and the Beast. Yes, there was a Bill's l- Enchanted there Christmas. Was, there's a yeah. uh, Hinkley uh, Day uh, yes, themed that Beauty was, and the Beast. Uh, <laughs> that was uh, starring Jodie Foster, and they actually got Hinkley to come out of it prison. Was, and, it and was records. Dumbo celebrates Hinkley there was, there Day. Was a, there was definitely a Dumbo too. Yeah, yeah. there yeah. was Cinderella two and three, and I think oh, Cinderella and three was a twist in time. Twist in time. It was a time travel movie. Cinderella. Because, you know, that's what that needed. Charming, we've got to go back. Uh, It's about your kids. (laughs) <laughs> I was crazy how I'm they brought back Doc to the in. Bulls and oh boy, oh boy! <laughs> but yeah, they they did like Lion King two. They did Lion yeah. King one oh, and a half. Li- you call that Lion King one and a half, right? Well, they they did in Lion the UK King two also in yeah, the UK. Yeah, yeah. That was called the Lion King. Sixpence? No, no, no. In the UK, that was called the Lion King three. Really? Yeah. English people don't like halves, so they called it the Lion King one. They called it the Lion King three. Same film. Right. So what do, you, what do you call the, the famous Fellini like movie? Lion, the Lion King, King one of the So do you call the famous Fellini movie eight and a half? Do you call it nine? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was that movie that didn't do so good about the making of eight and a half. Yeah. I can't make a joke about it because I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of another half mo- movie with half in it. Cop and a half. Cop and a half. Reynolds. Naked gun. Did you just call it? No, we call two it. Cops? We call it naked gun and t- another gun. <laughs> <laughs> A naked gun and another gun. I kind of like I, that. I like that title. That's, that, there you go. That's a reboot title. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so Drew Carey was not great. Uh, no, the sequels so, weren't great. The sequels were not and great. And also, I've got... Okay, we've got 20 minutes. I'm, I we think got we've got enough time. time to do the last rubbish thing that okay. Michael Eisner did. And this one, I put a big asterisk on because I've grown to love it in, in a historical sense. Sure. But did I review go to Disney World in the 90s? I've never been ever. Uh, so first... I did go to Disney World when I was eight, I believe, in 93 or 94. Yeah, so I, the first time I went was in 97. Okay. In the last week of February, in the first week of... No, last you week of January, in the first well. week of February. Are you yep. one of those people who like remembers everything to the day, like if Mary Lou If it's about Lou Disney. If it's yeah. about Disney, okay. <laughs> you seem um, like a very big Disney fan. If that's, is that no. fair to say? <laughs> <laughs> and this dry British humor, I just can't get it. <laughs> God! You know, aren't, weren't you wondering why he's been wearing Mickey Mouse ears this I entire was, time? I was wondering that, and... And nothing yeah, else. I got strip everyone and naked. Else. Completely <laughs> naked. Where is he wearing the Mickey Mouse ears? Find out on our Periscope. Well, I'm like Donald Duck. Wait, wait, wait. I, I is this actually pants. Periscoped? Because no, 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 I was no. not prepared. <laughs> it is not being Periscoped. Don't I worry about that. I would have put on a few more items. <laughs> <laughs> or less. Yeah. Hey, now. <laughs> yeah, the other rubbish thing which Mike Weisner did was... If you went into the Magic Kingdom, you would describe that probably as a very family-friendly park, kind of happy, lots of really cool things going on. Sure, yeah. Yeah, and you've got the different areas. You've got Adventureland, Tomorrowland. And yep. in Tomorrowland, it was kind of a sci-fi theme. Mm-hmm. And the kind of aliens you'd expect to find in Tomorrowland, probably today and probably before the 90s, would be a kind of cute, fluffy ones, like Stitch. You've got like your little, sure. you know, little cute little antennas, like little aliens in Toy Story and Buzz Lightyear. Right. That was not the kind of alien that Michael Eisner enjoyed. Was it? Was it no, Xenomorph? It was it was, pretty much. <laughs> okay. It was copyright free Xenomorph. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it was the Blino Blur. Do you, have you heard of this? I have not heard of this. Was it was, like, I would love it. it was, Welcome to Disney. It was, uh, <laughs> Give what, us your money. <laughs> it was, uh, I, you, you didn't believe me about Drew Carey. Uh, we believe but, you about everything I thought, yeah, I but, but that was real. This one's also real. It was Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom's extra terrestrial <laughs> encounter. With, with, with terror, terror instead in of huge terror. glowing lights. And That's this ride, you went into it. You'd sit down. Imagine a um, cylindrical room, okay, which is not a roller coaster, but as roller Guys, coaster. Guys, let's, let's all close our eyes yeah. and imagine I'm, this. I'm setting the scene again. <laughs> setting the scene. So here we go. All right, we're in a cylindrical room. Drew Carey's talking room. on my headphones. No, 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 no. Okay, <laughs> different, different, right, different, different room. Different room. Different room. <laughs> different room. It's not that. Okay. <laughs> so it's me, Drew Carey. <laughs> There's an elephant behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? It wasn't that December. Why did actually? I mime yeah. the trunk? I don't know. <laughs> Without periscope. I could see. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm glad. All oh, this energy for me. <laughs> but you would basically sit in this cylindrical room and imagine, you know, on roller, coast, roller coasters, you get the restraints. They yes, come down I over know. your shoulders and you pull them down. Yep. Yeah. Would you be a bit alarmed if you walked into what's basically a... Um, Basically, like a movie theater. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you call them movie theaters in the US? We do. No, we call them uh, something funny. We call <laughs> them the leisure centers. Because <laughs> we call it the, the cinema, and I was trying to translate it for you. Yeah, movie theater. <laughs> okay. Yeah, movie theater. So works. you go into a circle 
around movie theater, yeah? Okay, okay. But imagine that, just a regular movie theater, imagine it. But then they're like, oh, by the way, we're just going to strap you down with this roller coaster harness so you can't stand up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, I'm, I'm feeling the terror already. <laughs> <laughs> and then in the middle of the room, there was a huge glass container with what? some incredibly advanced special effects. And have you been to Walt Disney World recently? No, that, that was the one and only time I've ever been there. Because these days they call this ride uh, Stitch's Encounter. It's got basically they had to refilm it to Stitch. So okay. it's, it's like a, if anybody's listening, they've been on it. It was Stitch's ride. So you had the glass container in the middle, and inside was the most frightening, drooling, you know, scary tentacle-laden uh, alien which you've ever seen from basically from the Aliens movie. Yeah. Wow. Inside this big tub, with basically just parents and their seven-year-olds expecting to see Mickey Mouse strapped down in roller coaster harnesses. Yeah. That's so weird. And, and, then, cannot move. and then you cannot move. And they had, they really were into their stereo stuff. <laughs> not, not headphones, but basically stereo speakers strapped into the harness. Right. And from either side of you, you would hear the alien running around the room. And that's why it was a circle. You would hear the alien with speakers around the room running around the room. He'd go all around in the circles. And then for every single person, because of the speakers, he would stop right behind you. You would feel his breath on your neck. He would, you would then feel him drooling on your neck with water. Okay. That's you would awesome. then feel the roller coaster restraint force downwards Ooh. as if he's landed on top of you. Ooh. And you would then hear him uh, starting to basically like touch your hair and you'd feel that. They would blast wind in your hair and you'd feel him touching your hair. Oh, man. It was petrifying. It's so scary. And then at one point he jumps across and you're basically hearing him just snap people's ne- le- no, necks all around the room. It was hor- <laughs> and it, the whole time all you're hearing is just like five-year-olds just screaming their life, screaming for their life. Like, what's going on? This sounds okay. And parents I gotta just say, like, this yeah. is not what I wanted, Disney. This is not how the adverts made it. You know, there's... You, but it sounds you, incredible. You put this on the blunders list, but I think this sounds awesome. That's what I gave the asterisks for. Okay, in, okay, in, good. Hindsight, in hindsight, I now think I this is pretty so, amazing. Let me get this straight. If you go to Walt Disney World now, they to the Stitch, it to Stitch ride, so you just see like Stitch so in an awful prison. Like, <laughs> they yeah. ruined it. Now it's now they have instead of him uh, like <laughs> snapping necks, they have him uh, cuddling, burp, burp, cuddling no, you. No, they have him burping chili dogs, and you can uh, smell the chili dog. Okay, that again, that's what the chili dog is. That sounds like what's that? Where's the chili dog? It's just a hot dog with chili on it. I didn't realize. Chili. <laughs> Wait, because in the UK, chili is like mince that you have with rice. What? It's no, like mince meat with chili black is, beans. Is, oh, okay, uh, that, that, that's that's basically what chili is. It, but no, no, oh, no, 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 oh, mince, no rice. Yeah. Mince. I, I, th- I thought he said your American also. words. I think you're I saying. Think, so min- my American like, host, I spent ages just asking what homecoming was, and I still don't really understand it. <laughs> homecoming. No, let's not go there. No, ch- ch- okay. Chili is mince, but it it's made yeah. with chili powder, which is a very specific flavor. Right. It's like a spicy. There's beans. So why does Sonic the Hedgehog? Sonic the Hedgehog eats him because I assume he is he powered farts. by farts. Yeah. <laughs> And that's how he it, runs it, so fast. It's very gassy. I don't know if minces. It's very chili will is make you. Is that the canonical answer? Yeah, that's the canonical answer. Yeah, on this podcast, it is. <laughs> when Sonic the Hedgehog comes up, we will talk about his Ta- chili dog. Tails farts. flies by just vomiting continuously. Well, tail, it, tail spins his tails to, you know, to get away from the, the stench of <laughs> when he, Sonic's when he, deadly farts. So when he kneels down on the floor and does a spin dash, that's just one that's extra ex- powerful fart. It's just exactly on the right. Dr. Anyway. Robotnik. You never actually, notice the pixels that turn brown behind him when he's <laughs> Dr. Does Robotnik those. had five alarm chili and farted so hard that <laughs> his entire bottom half exploded uh, yep. and had to be rebuilt That's cybernetically. Right. That's exactly um, right. No, the uh, this this uh, ride, the the alien ride, reminds me of I haven't been to it yet, but it's growing a lot in popularity in uh, in New York at least. Is uh, was it 4DX the movie theater? For, for uh, RPM? What's it called? RPX? R- f- RPX. There, well, there's a few different things. There, RPX is like Regal Premium yeah, Experience or something. Yeah, I think that's it. So you go to the movie and you're talking about the, move, the chairs move. The seats yeah, yeah, move. Yeah. They spray water in your face. Yeah, so but like, that's just a regular cinema and you're in a regular seat. And they've well, just it's not of, a regular cinema No, they've for enhanced me. it. Yeah, they've yeah. put a few extra bits and bobs in, in the England, chairs. In England, all of them right. have that. No, no. That's amazing. Well, there's a couple. And all all them, every but. single seat has it in England. I think, Matthew, I think in I'm the, an expert on England. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jack, where did we get this guy? England. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think you are. <laughs> we could consult Lady Wee. Uh, oh, oh, hello. I've got a name of Lady Peace. <laughs> We're in the States, so you use my Does state she, she was actually a character in Downton Abbey, but she was, she was right. she's only on the DVD and the deleted scenes. I got scenes. written out. <laughs> <laughs> it was played by Maggie Smith, who did like a, a, a dual split screen. She yeah, played identical right. twins. It's me, Maggie Smith. <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> Get back here. Uh, I've got to go now. She got very confused. It's a fire. You can punch him if you want. <laughs> You've earned the right. We don't usually have so many character walk-ins on this show. No. I, I think it's because we're on hiatus of the uh, worst episode ever. But anyway, uh, I don't want to interrupt. The You were talking about the uh, oh, it's completely different. With, with the I don't ro- want to interrupt with, after with my the- ten minutes of <laughs> horrible British voices. I don't think it's quite that bad. <laughs> This is all because it's July the 4th, isn't That's it? That's exactly right. <laughs> We're <laughs> sticking <laughs> it in. <laughs> Light a firework right now. 
<laughs> Was that Sonic the Hedgehog? Yep, he had some oh chili. Boy. He had a chili dog at a barbecue. <laughs> Those rings are actually disposable toilet covers. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what they are. <laughs> he needs them to cover toilets. For all so that's why he needs so many rings. <laughs> exactly. For all yeah. of his pooping. Uh, um, uh, Twelve minutes and ten seconds left on the clock. You were, you were talking about the, the, the RPX, whatever. No, it just reminded like, me of that. Deep yeah, box. D- is no, but it's much worse because the roller coaster restraints and it would it would pin you down. The first time I went on it, I like that. I was a little kid and I was just leaning down, like playing with my shoes. So the entire ride, I was kind of crouched down and couldn't couldn't get back up. Oh. Yeah, I, I still think this is the most scary thing to ever happen to me in my life, Jeez. and it happened in my most favorite place. Yeah, um, and so, tainted your memories of Disney forever. Uh, not enough to make me. I, hate I, I won't go on scary rides because I'm this always afraid. I'm always afraid that. I fucked up somehow. Like besides the fact that they're just shoddily mm-hmm. built, I'm like, I'm too big for this. I didn't put the strengths on. I didn't buckle myself in right. I'm going to, you know. Oh, don't you hate the roller coasters when they don't have the the extra yeah, strap? Yeah, yeah. I always think if you're on a roller coaster, the harness is fine. I know it's going to click, but I always want that little buckle. Yeah, and just you know a little buckle when you buckle yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I just think if the strap, if that thing goes, some just crazy in case. Well, I don't like yeah. that the just carny is like he's going around and he's making sure everybody's secure and like he's fixing all the little kids and then he'll like see me and it's like I'm a grown six foot <laughs> two like, man yeah. and he's just you like got you've it. got this and I'm like no. You Americans have the fat chairs on the roller coasters as well, don't you? And that's Which I'll a bit slide scary. right out of. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, true. Because they're always a bit more baggy, and especially if you don't have the strap. Right, right, right. Um, just want to go back to something you said, Jack. You said you don't go on scary rides. Yeah. Are you defining that as any and all roller coasters? You don't do roller coasters? I will do them I know that's about once you? in a blue moon. I haven't done one in a while. As I get older, yeah. even though now my life means less to me because I, I realize <laughs> I didn't go anywhere. Because you're, you're sticking but further I, further I actually get. I've gotten more and more conservative and, and neurotic about so it. So at Six Flags, Great Adventure, which is the, the yeah. closest theme park to us. I went once. I went twice. Yeah, I, and I went on oh, the I, love it. I went on the Congo fan. River Rapids, and I went on the Mach Three Adventure, which is actually similar with the moving chairs. Yes, except it is. It's I don't simu- believe, it's don't simulating. think it's there anymore. Now it's no. like Dino. But I would no, I wouldn't do roller coasters. I, once in so, a blue moon, I've done the Cyclone once or twice. Here's what I'm going to do. Again, gonna, I don't know what these are. I'm going to drug you at some point. You should go to the Cyclone while you're in New York. It's Coney Island's famous wooden uh, coaster. I like that. I said uh-huh. I'm going to drug you, and you're like, you should go see the Cyclone. <laughs> I'm going to drug you, Jack. I'm going to take you to Six Flags. I'm going to put you on the Joker coaster. Have you seen this? Have you seen it? Do you know what it is? No. It's this new roller coaster. It looks awesome. Uh, no, 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 no. It's like a regular roller coaster, but instead of sitting in a, a normal roller coaster cart, which I, I don't want to do anyway, it is like one of those tilt a whirl type things, and you like spin as you're going through oh, the roller coaster. I like tilt a whirls, but like not, not like uh, like the G force, I guess, <coughs> where you're kind of like locked. You're locked into a chair, and the chair spins like the chair's on an axle, but I then it also like spins that. around I'm and m- moves like a roller coaster. I might like it because I'd be so disoriented that I wouldn't be able to realize like how high I am. And <coughs> so when you're going on a ride, I want to get you really high and take <laughs> you there. I think a good ride needs to have a, a pretty. I want a story. I want right. some, uh, you want as, Drew yeah, Carey as you've gathered from my story. Drew, you yes. want a Drew Carey based yeah, yeah. narrative. <laughs> yeah, you want you want Drew some... Carey actually narrates the Joker ride. Yeah, you want him... <laughs> that's incidental to what we're talking about. <laughs> he was in the nineties. It was his, his secondary career. Was yeah. he just went he just theme park to theme park? That's right. You couldn't get enough of Drew it's Carey. T- I'm like a mad dog. Huh? <laughs> 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 Every time I see a truck, I just have to chase it. I don't know, I I don't know why my it. Drew Carey is more Edward G. Robinson. It is a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Where's your non-caffeinated beer now? See. <laughs> Yeah, I want to ride with a story. The kind of rides that I really hate are when you just go kind of the, the cheap carnivals and right. they're just like, just sit down in this thing. We're going to turn you upside down and spin you around for, I don't know, about a minute and you're oh, going to pay Oh, I like those because yeah. they're safe. No, they're not safe. <laughs> those they're are actually pick much you up less safe than, than like point? Six Flags. I know, yeah, I it's know. just like, why, we're, Disney. we're just intentionally going to make you feel sick. I want to ride where it's like, okay, it's Expedition Everest. You're going in the mountain. You're going sure, around, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. yeah so it's a whole thing. I can't wait to have kids if I ever do because it would give me a valid excuse to go back onto the kiddie rides. I miss those. I miss like the cars. They had the horns. They would go around about one mile per hour in a circle, but you could honk the horn. You know, <laughs> you know, you know, if you got into an actual car, Jack, I don't want to blow your mind. I, you can honk no, the horn. I won't get into <laughs> actual cars anymore either because I've been riding public transportation so consistently now uh, for the last three, four years, right. as opposed to like 50-50 back uh, when we lived in the Burbs, uh, right. where now I even now when I get in a car, I'm actually getting anxious. I'm telling you, I'm oh, getting I, worse I, yeah, and worse. I hate every driving, year. and yeah. I don't, I don't want to insult you, but you were not the best driver was, bef- when you actually were driving. Cars. Do you remember that time that we? Uh, I stopped in the middle of a, a, a twelve-lane intersection <laughs> and. I I do. Twelve different lanes of traffic were all coming <laughs> simultaneously to... coming at us. You, I don't know how. I ran the red light, so Dan yelled "Stop!" So I hit "Stop." Right, because you didn't see that the light was changing, so yeah. I yelled "Stop!" So I stopped right in the middle of the intersection while yeah. everybody's coming at me, and I just started backing up slowly. <laughs> and you're like, "No!" Pretty much the worst possible things you could have done in the situation. I was not a good driver. We lived, believe we, it or not. We did. Well, we died uh, actually, and became well, podcast hosting ghosts. Right. That's right. We're the ghosts with the most, baby. <laughs> 
here in Piss Studios. <laughs> That's why it's called Piss Studios. We pissed ourselves. We pissed ourselves and when died. we died, <laughs> and then we founded the studio. We evacuated but our bowels. People got really confused and was like, why, why are you called Piss Studios? You're like, we'll call it We, and then they're like, we'll oh, that's the Simpsons. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, we should do that. <laughs> That's a log- logical joke. Yeah. Um, okay, so we we you didn't like... Um, Extraterrestrial. No, nope. you didn't like the Drew Carey ride, and you nope. didn't like the direct video sequels. Was that was that it for the, the blunders of. of Michael Eisner? Everything so, else was so, gold. So looking at the clock, we've got seven Atlantis, minutes. the Lost Planet, was gold. Well, that was later Eisner. That was that was late late yeah, era. That was the nineties Eisner. Home on it, the so. Range, I think, was under his uh, yeah. under his watch. That was yeah. towards the end of uh, when they were still doing traditionally well, animated although, movies. Um, this isn't going well. I come on here thinking I'm going to defend <laughs> Eisner. Well, I'm going to be the one voice that does. I've never even seen any of these late in nineties. Play he retweeted with... me once. Oh, yeah, but I don't remember what for. But I think it might have been about BoJack Horseman. Do you know he makes that now? Oh, good for him. I, didn't uh, know I did know that actually. Yeah, yeah his production his... company uh, yeah, was like Tor- Torre. What, uh, yeah. what yeah. role did he play in uh, Pixar's relationship with Disney? Well, <laughs> he didn't. That was the problem. So, <laughs> what, what, uh, okay, one more thing on the bad eyes in the list. <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> but we are yeah. going to have to move off this. Uh, he had a big fallout with Steve Jobs, as far as I understand it, and that was the reason why they wouldn't get together. I think that is um, right. I've read a then, number of books about and, Pixar. And Bob Iger was someone that was more willing to do that Pixar right. deal with, with Steve Jobs. And Steve yeah. Jobs was the largest shareholder of Disney. Really? Yeah, number for one shareholder. For a while, yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah. I think his wife still is. Oh, really? And, yeah, and, he didn't, and he didn't do anything with it besides Pixar? Well, he basically rescued them because he said, if you're going to buy Pixar, you're not doing crappy direct-to-DVD sequels anymore. Right, uh, your stuff's got to get better. You know, it's embarrassing. If but I'm surprised he only. Fo- I mean, I guess he's a computer guy. He mm-hmm. focuses on Pixar. But I'm surprised he. Did, you know, that's a huge company to be a major shareholder. Oh, man, if I was the major shareholder in Disney, World Peace, Apple just <laughs> buy. <laughs> Goodbye, Apple. Yep, off to Disney. We don't World. need you anymore. Yeah, yeah, saw that right away. But I would. Oh my God, five <laughs> minutes left. And have, have I said one good thing on the Eisner we'll, list? We'll, we'll get there. Uh, if you bought <laughs> Disney, my own plan has gone wrong. <laughs> I thought I wouldn't. Let's have... Let's talk about his mediocre yeah. son well, Brock. As <laughs> As a lord, I, I picture if Matthew, if you did actually buy Disney, that you would want to live in Cinderella's Castle in, in, in Disney well, World. At the moment, you know, they have a secret hotel room there. I did know that, actually, yeah, up so, in the, the top. So it used to be just like a, a warehouse room or something like that, I think. And then they uh, converted <laughs> it. It was going to be Walt Disney's room yeah. before he died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now they've converted it into a hotel room. And you, if you're in the theme park, you just have to sort of walk around. And if you're in a, it's meant to be random, but... Honestly, if you're a photogenic family, they yeah. will pick you out, take a photo of you, put you in front of the parade, and let you sleep in the hotel overnight inside the castle. Oh wow! So that's awesome. I think it's very unlikely that that's going to happen to me anytime soon. Wandering around Disney World on my own, it's, it's, in I, my drop T-shirt. It's <laughs> it's uh, it's overrated. I actually stayed in that because I, I come from a photogenic mm-hmm. family. And uh, in the middle of the night, Drew Carey sneaks into your room <laughs> and starts whispering, "It's an elephant." <laughs> I don't know why he did that. That was that was mean of him. He did did that between <laughs> tapings of the Drew Carey show. Oh, Ohio. Oh. Is that, can we check? Is it on his IMDb? Is it <laughs> <laughs> for what? Is for, it, for his it's on the tiny yeah. yeah. Jack's nightmare. It's there. <laughs> It's is on it? there. It's well, crazy. Drew Carey's list of things he's done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, right, four right, minutes. I'm just going to name some things. Okay. Let's rattle, rattle good things good off things. you like. Typhoon Lagoon. Really good. I don't know what that is. Water theme park. Okay. So you're okay. Disney Kids Beach theme park theme to a blizzard. Uh, water oh. theme park themed to a blizzard. Yeah, so, so you go you go down ice slips and things. So that's awesome. their theme parks yeah. are never, basically like Super there. Mario Brother levels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got the ice kind of. yeah, that's yeah. awesome. You've never, you never said you never the jungle did Disney, level. Right? Disney's okay. Animal Kingdom that right. was incredible. Right. There was um. There actually of sort of is a giant world because they at least used to have a Honey I Shrunk the Kids like playground where everything was giant. I think all that's going to go and turn into Star Wars now. They're getting rid of that. They're getting rid of the. Why is everything giant in Star Wars Land? Yeah. So that, yeah, a lot of I things are being wrapped up. I would love to go to a Star Wars land. Mm. I would. Oh, I, I absolutely would. Okay, more good things. Basically, all of the movies: Lion King, Aladdin, Little Mermaid. What, what live right. action movies did they do D- during Eisner's? Well, during Flubber. that time, um, okay, okay, they did do, they did do <laughs> Flubber. <laughs> Haven't seen it. Uh, it's not good, so don't see it. <laughs> um, they did uh, Buena Vista was their oh, uh, I remember that, yeah. kind of adult film, not like porno <laughs> movie. <laughs> they had a couple. That, so when that they was made, Boner Vista. Yeah. <laughs> Buena Vista Entertainment. No, but Buena Vista uh, was, and I think might still be, like the Disney... That's a, there's, that's a Disney word. I think it's like a lake or something. It's Buena Vista yeah, Lake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I, want, I want to say they had a well, pretty big uh, hand in Miramax also. Yeah, they did. I, th- they did. I think so. They, they bought it, resold it. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. Uh, and then the Weinsteins left and made the Weinstein Company, but that's yeah. not the topic. I'll go back to Disney. <laughs> but, uh, you know, not. it wasn't just the flubbers of the world. They also did release. I can't and think of had, any movies. Uh, they had but Touchstone. So when they Touch made Stone, when they yes. made the Nightmare Before Christmas, um, I think I'm going to get a lot of Disney fans fact checking me on this. But as far as I understand it, right, I'm a big Nightmare the, Nightmare fan. So Nightmare right. was meant to be, as far as I understand it, a Disney film. It was meant to be released as this is a Disney film. It's another Disney movie with a Disney logo. Right
they're a little bit like, hmm. It's a little dark. A little dark. Yeah. Then maybe we'll just slap Touchstone on that one. Sure. Even though that, they yeah. have a scary monster ride. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. Well, I'll tell you this. Retroactively, I think they have, you know, I, I have the, the DVD, and I think it does have, like, Disney on it. Like, Disney DVD. Well, yeah, now these days they're like, oh, Touchstone. It's a hit. Yeah, we'll put that Disney yeah, logo exactly, right back on it. Exactly. Let's yeah. get him with Iron Man. They, Iron Man and yeah. Jack Skeleton. <laughs> they're just called Disney now as well. You know, it used to be. I would love to see that. Disney Company, company yeah. Walt Disney Pictures and stuff like that. Right. They, um, it's just It was Disney. too long for phone screens, for iPhones. Oh. So they're just like, oh, get rid of that. That's People like, watching it. Yeah, uh, so it's just Netflix Disney, you know? just yeah. changed their logo to just N, and yeah. it looks terrible. Oh, yeah. really? No, 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 it's July 4th. They did it like, what? They did they it, did like it two, two weeks, weeks ago. ago. Yeah. 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 Wink. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> did uh, I say wink or did I? I oh, I'll tell you another weird thing Michael Eisner done. Oh, you got but it, res- half, it so. resulted in a good thing. Okay. Have you ever been on the ride which was based on the Tom Hanks movie Splash? I was not. I was unaware there was such a thing. You? Do you no, get to meet Daryl Hannah? Uh, Rob Reiner whispers in your ear in a, in a black room. <laughs> hey, it's a mermaid. I think that's, that's I Rob think, Reiner, apparently. I think I that maybe, him. maybe you have been on that ride, Splash Mountain. Huh? Yeah. Because oh. oh. Michael Studios. Eisner basically went, that's that Splash movie? Want one of those. Want a ride. So he just went to the Imagineers. <laughs> so he went Splash to all the, Mountain is named after Splash yeah, he went, Tom Hanks? he went to all the Imagineers and went... I want a splash ra- I want a splash ride. But now I believe I- Splash Mountain is plastered with the uh, what's the movie they can't talk? Song of the South. Exactly. Like all those characters. Because all, the, all of the um- Because that has more cultural cachet than Splash. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting move. Let's get rid of that. Yeah. Tom Hanks let's, is too unlikable. Let's put a racist <laughs> rabbit up there. <laughs> let's replace Tom Hanks with a racist. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, what uh, else? Well, what else? We're running Rattle out of time. Off. We got yeah. about 50 seconds left. So what else do you like of the Michael Eisner Disney era? Uh, there's not enough time, so I'm just going to say everything other than what we just spoke about. Everything <laughs> else. So let's All use right. our last uh, 44 seconds to introduce our second guest. <laughs> we, uh, we we were going to get to the, we were going to introduce you at the top of the show, but uh, we ran a little long. Yeah. Uh, so let's welcome uh, Nelson. Hey, how's it going, Nelson? Good. How are you guys doing? Doing all right. You guys didn't know there was someone else in the room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry. We uh, we we were meaning to get to you right yeah. away, but uh, we were talking about uh, non topics and topics and we, stuff. We said Jeez. after our first topic, we'll do it. We didn't think we'd have 20 seconds. Right. Left. <laughs> Nelson, we got 19 seconds left. What's yeah. your favorite Disney thing? Oh, I don't know. Not even movie. Or, le- or, or least favorite. The Cronut at Disney World. The Cronut, the Cronut at, Disney, at World. Disney World. Okay. Yeah, Solid Epcot pick. Center. I've not had it. Epcot Center is, a, uh, is awesome, and I want to go back there as an adult. The Cronut yeah. And drink around the world. Well, that's our show. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> that was it. Uh, so... Uh, before we uh, end things, we obviously have to talk about what have we learned. Uh, we've learned a lot. We have uh, learned the a audience lot. just learned we had a second guest. Yes, uh, that's but, true. Uh, Nelson, uh, what did you learn while listening to uh, us talk before introducing you today? Too many things. <laughs> <laughs> um, Too many things. Matt, what about you? Uh, well, the- a couple of Americanisms about you have two Christmases or something. Maybe two Thanksgivings. That gives right. you right. two Every sets day of parents. Every day America. Is that yeah. your real answer? Is that the answer you were thinking about doing, but it's actually just a setup <laughs> to your actual... <laughs> in, in about 30 minutes, we'll get to the actual <laughs> answer. All right, Dan, what did you learn? Um, I learned that there is a British sitcom that sounds kind of awesome oh. that I kind of want to watch. So oh, The British get... Empire. I'm going to look Empire. it up. Honestly, it's the best show. Okay. But it's not even remembered in the UK. Because huh, the problem so it has is it really does look the 90s. All the colors are clothing and the hair. Sure. So it wasn't very repeatable. It's yeah, like yeah. our Ned and Stacy. I, w- I was going to say, it's kind of like our, like, get a life. Like, a good show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not Ned Stacy. <laughs> you don't like Ned Stacy? Ned Stacy, I think, it was actually a remake of a British show. I could be wrong on that, but... Ed and House of Cards as well. I know how to drop my British. Yeah, yeah. I learned. But anyway, Jack, what did you learn today? Uh, I, I learned that Splash Mountain, the famous yeah. uh, attraction that I've never been to, uh, is actually <laughs> named after the movie Splash, which makes <laughs> total sense, and it was kind of just mind-boggling. That's wow. like finding out that, like... New York is named after, and like the Duke of York was actually like Michael York uh, was actually a Michael York. It was named after Michael York. <laughs> it was Michael York. Michael York, the actor. You don't know Michael York? He was uh, he was the head of British intelligence and Austin Powers. Oh yeah, okay, all right. He's yeah. in yeah. Logan's so, Run. So yeah, that thing. He's in things. Yeah, now I know you're talking. All right, about. way to step on the bit, Jack. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know. Who, you get your Austin Powers sound machine on all the time. You don't know who Michael York is? Oh, uh, I didn't know. <laughs> all right. Oh, wait, He's wait, wait. British. How do you not know? Get, back, can you say into the microphone, Oprah? Oprah. Ah, see, we don't even need the board. We don't need it anymore. You're right. <laughs> I'm just going to miss that. <laughs> guys, if you want more content from We Studios, obviously you can get more episodes of the 90 percentile, wherever you got this one. But you can check out our Simpsons podcast, which is worst episode ever. We're currently on hiatus. So you got 85 wonderful episodes to choose from. And 85 a bunch full episodes. Full and episodes. probably about 70, 75 deleted scenes yes, episodes. Yes, there's a lot of outtakes episodes. Those are all amazing, and you should listen to them. Uh, if you want to hear us talk over a movie, we also have sync points. 
wepodcast.com for all of this, obviously. Weepodcast.com. Matthew, what were you going to say? I was going to say, this episode was not sponsored by Jock, but do go to joq.com. There you go. Of course. Website of course. App. I want Absolutely. the internet rebooted. Uh, can we, uh, Absolutely. And, uh, does Jock have a social media presence as well? Yeah, just go and type out Jock. Although on Facebook, you're not allowed a, uh, a name of less than five characters. Really? Right. Yeah, so on Facebook, it has to be like Jock. Why five? I got the Twitter, I what got the YouTube. Like, <laughs> yeah, name's no, Jack. <laughs> yeah, no. We're can do. Yeah. I, no, tried to get, I tried to get Facebook no. slash Dan. Yeah. No go. Dumb. No, a couple no people go. have it, but only the special ones. Damn it. They got in before me. <laughs> yeah. we, so we, that's why we don't have Facebook slash backslash uh, we... P- piss. Yeah. <laughs> so it was taken. It was taken. By Mr. Piss. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mixius Pisslick? Uh, no. Uh, no. Never that's mind. Not, that's not anything. Jack, can you cut that, by nope, the way? No, staying in. Ah, God damn uh, you. Uh, Nelson, uh, you seem pretty uh, shy, so I don't know if you want to say your uh, social media on uh, on air. Uh, if you want, do you want to give us a Twitter handle or an Instagram or sure, anything? Just Nelson underscore Lin L I N, and there that's you your uh, Instagram. That's Instagram. There you all go. Right, Talk nice. a bit about what you do. So, so you get. So you, 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 I'm sure after all the interesting things he talked about on, on tonight's episode, you want to see what he looks like. So check out his Instagram. That's right. Uh, do you have a personal Twitter, Matt, that you would like to share? Yeah, uh, I think Mr. Wait is probably the best one. Mr. I haven't Wait. updated it to Lord Wait yet because that was taken on Twitter. <laughs> what about the British Lord, passport Lord agency Wait. was not considering that when they ruined my name. <laughs> can, Lord Lord <laughs> Matt Wait cannot be taken. Please, they, you should be able to get Lord Lord Matt Wait. Yeah, I've got two weeks before the episode drops, so yeah, <laughs> get on Plus it. the hour it would take to get to this and point. And if you're so. listening to this and it hasn't been <laughs> taken, get on that, we listeners. Get on it. Make um, him pay for it. <laughs> uh, so what else do we have besides our review? Uh, that's, that's it. Our Twitter our handles. Our Twitter handles. Uh, we, we should do that now because it's always weird where we do our Twitter handles and right. then say our names right after. All right. So I, I right. said something yeah. to you. you I, no, no, no. At the end of your show, I've always thought you should say my name was because it isn't. It's like my name was Dan. Well, my name is still Dan <laughs> when the podcast ends. <laughs> to me, it's it sounds like, wrong. It definitely okay. should be. All right. My name was Dan. What about this? Like, My name will be Jack next episode. <laughs> yes, also true. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Um, all right, so let's... you you can follow me uh, on Twitter at. Uh, Jackie No Breaks. I think that's also my Instagram. I never pushed that because who wants to see pictures of my food? But uh, <laughs> I love seeing pictures of your food. Well, then check it that's out. The problem. I, I follow you. Yeah, with the Jock Instagram, I'm like, well, who is that Jock food? Like, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't even know. Uh, uh, where, where, where can we find your pictures of food? I'm at then Dan says on Twitter. I think my Instagram is probably the same, but I don't know the last time yeah. I took a photo on Instagram. <laughs> MySpace. It, my sp- I did have MySpace, but uh, my dad, I have to my, imagine it's gone podcast, by now. You should definitely have a MySpace. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. He's kind of right. Uh, we'll get a Friendster also. Maybe we can get Tom on the show. He's, I'm sure yeah. he's not busy. Yes. <laughs> Tom is the guest. Um, That'll be he, awesome. He, he's, he's our friend. So I, uh, guys, if, uh, uh, you know what? I'm going to reach out to him on MySpace tonight right, and see, if, see awesome. if he'll do the show. Um, oh, so do you, you want to open it up? Or? Yeah, well, I don't, know, I don't know which ones we haven't read. Are you cool to read? Is there a one new one reviews? that we haven't read? We this, might not, we might not have any. I don't know. That, I think we might. Did be we out. read the most newest one? We definitely All did. Right, so I don't actually think we have one to I read. I think we might be out. I can review you. There you go. Do you have iTunes? Yeah. If you want, you can read it as you write it. Okay. <laughs> uh, if we don't have one. Okay, I'll post this now. So, I had a very nice time when I went to the United States of America. I met a nice man called Dan and his friend called Jack. We spoke about the 90s and I told them about the British Empire. (laughs) Then we spoke about Disney. Five out of five Matthews. Done. Wow. All right, a live podcast <laughs> review reading. That's a, another first on 90s the, Percentile. Man, you are the king. <laughs> a man you are of the first. lord of the qualifiers. <laughs> very good, very good. Um, and by the way, Nelson is our, also our first our latest, latest en- guest introduction. Latest so guest. Yes. congratulations. Yeah. Um, all right, guys. I think that is it for this episode of 90s Percentile. Matt. Nelson, thank you guys for being on the show. Mac, thank you for coming all the way from England just to be on this show. Yeah. The <laughs> only reason you were here. <laughs> Straight back uh, on the assuming. plane. <laughs> yes, that's right. We were assuming. Get out. Yep. <laughs> it's almost July 4th. Get the hell yeah, out of my know. country. Uh, thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Uh, so I guess that's it. I guess that is it. My name is Dan. No. My name was Dan. Yep. <laughs> my name will be Jack. <laughs> and we'll see you in another decade.